back my diluent and my tubing and the tubing was really good everything seems tight there aren't any bubbles uh, in any of them so that's good but the diluent is expired so we are going to replace the diluent and um, see if that helps we'll end up uh, running a little bit of a cycle hold on just a minute and I will do that okay so I'm back um, we have a different kind of diluent now that we use it's the same it's the same thing it's just bigger and so I had to pop this out this thing is like 47 pounds so <laughs> it took me a little bit to get where we are right now but we're good um, so we're going from the old one which is little like this same diluent okay and we're now going to change it to this size so I did replace my gloves uh, so that I have nice clean gloves all right and I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the lice we're going to pull the probe out it's gonna scream at me that's okay oh goodness Okay, and we want to try to make sure we keep all these things clean, all right? I know in the other video I told you not to put the straw thing in first, but this is so wide that uh, that's not really an issue. When you put this back on, you want to make sure to lift, um, lift these here and screw on the top because it does... Uh, it doesn't seal very well unless you lift up this piece. And this is very hard to do to one-handed because uh, I'm trying to hold my camera. So hold on just a second. Okay, okay so I did that. Uh, I can put um, I can put this cap on for now. Uh, we'll get rid of the extra diluent um, appropriately. And then we will end up going ahead and... Uh, using that bottle later for the waste, you know, how we talked about moving it over. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to hit start up again and see if that changes anything. So every time you do that, it's checking itself and it's reevaluating um, the status of the tubing and everything. So essentially, you know, you're taking up everything into the tubing and moving the fluids around uh, making sure that everything is primed and ready to go but if you do need to prime a new uh, reagent or lice or anything like that you can specifically go to the maintenance um, the maintenance menu and prime certain things but usually the startup just does it all so that's why I'm doing that right now all right well I will get back to you on what it does Okay, so we still have the errors there, and that is most likely due to the baths not being completely clean. So what I'm going to end up doing is running the Easy Cleanser. So if your analyzer uh, sits for days on end, which ours does because class is only one day a week, uh, you'll have to run this. Um, it's a 24 or it's an eight-hour uh, period of time that it takes to do this cleanser. You can also, if you run out of this because it expires or something, um, you can use alcohol in place of the probe cleanser or the, um, the easy cleanser to run any of those if, if you end up um, you know, running out of ones that you bought that are still good and you only have a budget that lasts till July or whatnot. Um, <clears throat> so you can run those as well. Um, it's not going to hurt anything. Sometimes I run alcohol as a patient um, also to try to see if I can clear up these things. Um, so I'm going to do that first, and then if that fails, I will run the easy cleanser and make sure everything is good. Hold on just a minute. All right, so I'm going to run um, a little bit of rubbing alcohol as a patient in the count screen to see if I can get rid of these errors. Okay, so I closed it nicely. Now I'm gonna press aspirate. It's going to run. Hopefully that'll clear everything out and uh, everything 
will end up being good and we can actually run a patient. After this whole session, I still will run the easy cleanser. Like I said, just because uh, the analyzer has been sitting for a little while and I want this uh, prepared for class. All right, so the alcohol actually did the trick. <laughs> that is one of my personal experience tricks to give to you and that way this will hopefully help you run everything better. Um, I'm pulling the alcohol out. Now uh, in the next video I'm going to run a patient specimen and uh, that way we can uh, talk about how to do that. Thank you for watching.